Hey there everybody, happy Thanksgiving. My name is Rockstar Tragedy and I'm back with Undertale. This is a special episode that I wanted to get out there for you guys. So we got two episodes of Undertale today, double serving for your guys' entertainment. I hope everyone is having a fantastic day, spending time with your family, friends, whatever the case may be. I hope you're just having a great day. And if you're not celebrating Thanksgiving today, well, you're still getting bonus content. So Hope you guys enjoy. Uh, last time we saw Torio. Uh, we've been taking the, the pacifist route. We're not killing anybody. We're just trying to see how this goes. Uh, I've been enjoying the game thoroughly since restarting, um, starting a fresh run, fresh uh, approach to this. So let's see, uh, let's see where this takes us. There's a camera hidden in the bushes. All right, well let's go. There's a weird pulse, that weird pulsating sound. It's kind of creepy. That looks like a, a tough looking branch. It's too heavy to pick up. What? Why did that break? It's been smashed like it was nothing. Alright then. Okay. What? I saw that. Who's there? Why is this getting scary? No. Not a now, not a never. You hear that? You guys hear that? What's going on? I'm getting kind of creeped out here. Getting kind of creeped out here. It's getting louder as I move. Let's go across the... Oh my gosh. Who is this mysterious shadowed figure? Human. And then I turn around. He holding out his hand. Oh no! What are you doing? All right. Let's see if I can remember my good old Sansy voice. <laughs> the old whoopee cushion and the hand trick, brother. Wait a second. Have you heard it before or something? You turned around before I said to. Weird. Whatever. You're a human, right? I'm Sans. Sans a skeleton. I'm actually supposed to be on watch for humans right now. But, you know, I don't really care about capturing anybody. Now, my brother. <laughs> That's not how he says that. It, it fit perfectly, but that's not how he says that. Now, my brother, Papyrus. He's a human hunting fanatic. Hey, actually, I think that's him over there. I have an idea. Go through this gate thingy. Yeah, go right through. My brother made the bars too wide to stop anyone. Nice. Nailed it. Quick, behind that conveniently shaped lamp. Sup, brother? You know what's up, brother? It's been eight days and you still haven't recalibrated your puzzles. You just hang around outside your station. What are you even doing? Staring at this lamp. It's really cool. Do you want to look? No! I don't have time for that. What if a human comes through here? I want to be ready. I will be the one. I must be the one. I will capture a human. Then I, the Great Papyrus, will get all the things I utterly deserve. Respect. Recognition. I will finally be able to join the Royal Guard. People will ask to be my friend. I will bathe in a shower of kisses every morning. Hmm. Maybe this lamp will help you. Sans! You're not helping, you lazy bones! All you do is sit and boondoggle. You get lazier and lazier every day. Hey, take it easy. I've gotten a ton of work to do today. A skeleton. Oh no. Oh no. The puns. No. Sans. Come on. You're smiling. I am and I hate it. Ah. Why does someone as great as me have to do so much just to get some recognition? Wow, sounds like you're really working yourself. Down to the bone.
Oh boy. <clears throat> ah! I will attend to my puzzles. As for your work, put a little more backbone into it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, you can come out now, brother. Well, that was interesting. Just a conveniently shaped lamp. No particular reason. I can't even hide behind it anymore. I know I gotta talk to Sans. It's some sort of checkpoint or sentry station, but there are bottles of ketchup, mustard, and relish sitting inside. That's probably not a checkpoint station. You ought to get going, he might come back, and if he does, you'll have to sit through more of my hilarious jokes. Yeah, because we know we don't want to do that. Actually, hey, hate to bother you, but can you do me a favor? I was thinking, my brother's been kind of down lately. He's never seen a human before, and seeing you might just make his day. Don't worry, he's not dangerous. Even if he tries to be, thanks a million. I'll be up ahead. That song. Oh, how I remember this song. Oh, thank goodness, a save station. The convenience of that lamp still fills you with determination. Yes. This is a box. You can put an item in or take an item out. The same box will appear later, so don't worry about coming back. Sincerely, a box lover. Well, thank you. Sure, I'll use the box. I feel like I need that. I don't know why. I don't think I need... Uh... Oh, I have to press X. I keep thinking escape is the way out. Oh, no! Uh, joke? Bad ice pun. I've heard that one. Well, I don't know what to do. I can't... Well, alright, I can't do that yet. Uh, what if I heckle it? I boo the snow drake. Is your flesh rotten? I don't think I was supposed to do that. Maybe I'll laugh at him? What are you laughing at? You, man. Oh, jeez, that was getting crazy. I still can't spare him. Alright, well. Maybe I have to keep laughing at him? Okay, so I didn't know what to do. I tried everything for a while, and uh, it did not get to a point to where I could spare it. It's a fishing rod affixed to the ground. Reel it in? Uh, yeah. Photo of a weird looking monster. Call me, here's my number. You decide not to call. Oh, how nice. I tell you how much I love this song. So, as I was saying about Undyne. <laughs> Sons, oh my god, is that a human? And it looks so familiar. Uh, I think it looks familiar because it's a rock. Oh. Hey, what's that in front of the rock? Oh my god, is that a human? Yes. Oh my god. Sons, I finally did it. I'm dying, Will. I'm gonna, I'll be so popular. 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 Oh, that was awful. Ahem. Human, you shall not pass this area. I, the Great Papyrus, will stop you. I will then capture you. You will be delivered to the capital. Then, then, I'm not sure what's next. In any case, continue. Only if you dare. <laughs> well, that went well. Don't sweat it, brother kid. I'll keep an eye socket out for you. Ice cap struts into view. Let's compliment you. Inform Ice Cap that it is a great hat. Duh, who doesn't know? Whoa! Alright. Just chill there. Ice Cap also wants a hat for its nose. Uh, so what? Then. Just compliment. My hat's too loud for me to hear you. Oh, okay. 
Okay. These are some interesting uh, attacks. What if I steal? You tried to steal Ice Cap's hat, but it's not weakened enough. I knew it, thief! I yeah, I'm probably screwing up big time here. It's snowing dandruff. What about if I ignore him? You manage to tear your eyes away from Ice Cap's hat. It looks annoyed. Sorry, I had a coughing fit there and apparently I took damage in the meantime. Ice Cap is secretly checking if you're looking at its hat. I'm gonna ignore him again. You continue not looking at his hat. It seems defeated. Fine, I don't care. Mercy, yes! All right, so now I understand him. Just ignore him, he'll go away. Absolutely no moving. Whoops. <gasps> A pup. Did something move? Was it my imagination? I can only see moving things. If something was moving, for example, a human, I'll make sure it never moves again. Whoops. Doggo blocks the way. Oh, that was the dog talking. I should have had a voice ready for him, but I didn't. What if I pet? He's too suspicious of my movements. Don't move an inch! Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Doggo can't seem to find anything. Will it move this time? Nope. Doggo can't seem to find anything. Alright, so I need a pet. You pet, Doggo. What? I've been pet! Pot? Pat? Pet? Pet? Pot? Pat? Why are you saying pot? Doggo has been pet. Okay, this is where I can spare him, right? Yes! Something pet me. Something that isn't moving. I'm gonna need some dog treats for this. Just dog treats here? Someone's been smoking dog treats? <laughs> what? I don't even remember that. Oh, it's Sans. Hey, here's something important to remember. My brother has a very special attack. If you see a blue attack, don't move and it won't hurt you. I had learned that before. A little late. Here's an easy way to keep it in mind. Imagine a stop sign. When you see a stop sign, you stop, right? Stop signs are red, so imagine a blue stop sign instead. Simple, right? When fighting, think about blue stop signs. Yep, it's totally easy. Oh no. North ice, south ice, west ice, east Snowden town, and ice. A lesser dog appears. <laughs> pet, 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 pet. Aw, cute little doggy. Yeah, there we go. That was easy. Hello, I am a snowman. I want to see the world, but I cannot move. If you would be so kind, traveler, please take a piece of me and bring it very far away. Sure. Thank you. Good luck. You got the snowman piece. though that human do I know that person do you not know who you know of course I know who I know I wanted to know if you know I know who I know as much as I know I know who I know you know oh ho speak of the devil in order to stop you my brother and I have created some puzzles I think you will find this one quite shocking for you see this is the invisible electricity maze when you touch the walls of this maze, this orb will administer a hearty zap. Sounds like fun? Because the amount of fun you will probably have is actually rather small, I think. Okay, you can go ahead now. <laughs> Sans, what did you do? I think the human has to hold the orb. Oh, okay. Hold this, please. Okay, try now. Incredible, you slippery snail. You solved it so easily, too easily. However, the next puzzle will not be easy. It is designed by my brother Sans. You will surely be confounded. I know I am. <laughs> I mean, he kind of left that path in the snow. 
Bet he didn't know that. Hey, thanks. My brother seems like he's having fun. By the way, did you see that weird outfit he's wearing? We made that a few weeks ago for a costume party. He hasn't worn anything else since. He keeps calling it his battle body. Man, isn't my brother cool? Sure. Well, who are you? I don't understand why these aren't selling. It's the perfect weather for something cold. Oh, a customer? Would you like some nice cream? It's the frozen treat that warms your heart. Now just 15 G's. Sure, I'll take one. A super duper day. Oh, big snowball. I've been thinking about selling treats too. Want some fried snow? It's just 5G. No. You're right. I should charge way more than that. No, you just shouldn't charge anything. Alright, so I gotta get the snowball into the hole here. What? Why did that go up? Oh, I see. It's that that's a that's a wall there. Oh no. No, 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 go back. Yes, I did it. Green, your concern and care for Ball led you to a delicious victory. You are awarded 1G. I did it. Looks like a snowball. Actually, it, it's a snow decahedron. I guess that's true. With pixels and all. What's up here? His. Hers. Smell danger rating. Snow smell. Snowman. White rating can become yellow rating. Haha, <laughs> suspicious smell. Puppy, blue rating, smell of rolling around, weird smell, humans, green rating, destroy at all costs. That looks red to me. Human, I hope you're ready for. Sans, where's the puzzle? It's right there, on the ground, brother, trust me. There's no way they can get past this one. That didn't do anything! Whoops. I knew I should have used today's crossword instead. What? Crossword? I can't believe you said that. In my opinion, Junior Jumble is easily the hardest. What? Really? Dude? The easy peasy word scramble? That's for baby bones. Unbelievable. Human, solve this dispute. Which is harder? Yes! Humans must be very intelligent if they also find Junior Jumble so difficult. <laughs> I just wanted to make him feel better. Thanks for saying Junior Jumble just to appease my brother. Yesterday he got stumped trying to solve the horoscope. Of course, why not? Knowing the mouse might one day find a way to heat up the spaghetti, it fills you with determination. Nice. It's a plate of frozen spaghetti. It's a plate of frozen spaghetti. Knees weak, arms are heavy. I already said spaghetti. It's so cold, it's stuck already. Okay, that was awful. It's an unplugged microwave. All the settings say spaghetti. And what is this? It's a note from Papyrus. Human, yeah, please enjoy this spaghetti. Little do you know, this spaghetti is a trap designed to entice you. You'll be so busy eating it that you won't realize that you aren't progressing. Thoroughly japed again by the great Papyrus. <laughs> Papyrus. Damn, he got me. Alright, so... Okay, we saw that. 
I'm gonna save that again, and I think that is where this episode is going to end for now. I hope you guys are enjoying this series. Uh, I wanted to get out another episode of this for you guys because I'm enjoying playing it. I really, really like where this is going. I, I love this game, I love this town, this music, and all of the, the above. I'm really having a lot of fun with this. I hope you guys are too. Um, I think the voices are kind of taking a toll on me though. I'm really sorry. There's a lot of weird cuts in this one, but um, I had a coughing fit through most of this, but that's not going to stop the voices or anything. Um, next time I'll just try to be a little better prepared for that. But uh, I hope you guys, uh, my friends who are here in America, hope you're having a great Thanksgiving. Otherwise, I hope you're all just having a great day. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name's Rockstar Tragedy. If you're enjoying the content, please leave a like and a comment down below. If you're new, please subscribe. My name's Rockstar Tragedy. Love you all. Rock on, and I'll see you later.